Well, hello and welcome to our little web chat here. It's Radio 2. We're going to have our big in concert. You can watch it on the red button. And, of course, we've got the man who's um, providing all the music tonight, Paolo Natini. How hello. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I should use a microphone. That's the, the, obviously, <laughs> I've been working in radio and TV for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good then? I'm good. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm, How's this I'm year good. been as you look back over it? It's been busy. It's been fun. You know, a lot of countries, a lot of shows, biggest shows we've done, really. I didn't know how they'd go. They went well. I think so. People seemed happy when they left. They were still there. So, uh, yeah. and uh, I think as long as they're not leaving in droves, that's, that's a really good that's, sign. That's how I gauge the success of a gig, yeah. Do you look back over the year, do you feel kind of exhausted at the end of this or do you feel proud? <laughs> um, I feel okay, you know. I feel good. I feel this sets us up nicely for to do some more stuff next year and hopefully, you know, work our way seamlessly into a new record and okay okay right well i've got a bunch of questions here some of those are concerning that possible new record right. don't rock backwards and forwards on that chair because one okay. of us is going to fall during this interview and i think it's going to be you okay i'll try my best <laughs> first question then this is from cobby on twitter when you're writing a new song what usually comes first is it music lyrics or both together um well cobby they're very different very different um times different things sometimes if you're lucky you get them all very lucky <laughs> other times i've just really got the the yeah i've got the music going through my head and you know other things it's just the, it's just the lyrics it really is it's just a case of, i try now to just catch the ideas when they come if it you know write it down or record it in a little dictaphone just always have something there to record it when it comes along so do you often have, you have lots of songs on the go and you just keep adding to them? Is it like a recipe that you're making up or do you just focus on one song and work on that song until it's completed? Yeah, um, I don't know, I'll usually start a few things and leave them there and then listen to them when I'm walking around or when I'm flying somewhere and just sort of put them on some kind of weird, you know, just, just put them on some kind of shuffle thing and then see what one, if I like it after listening to it about four times, then I know, okay... I better, I better, uh, I better finish this one. You know, I leave it alone. It's done. <laughs> yeah, Don't well, no, with no, it. no, that's when I, that's when I start to, you know, try to finish it up. You know, tie it up. And then some ones you don't have a choice. Some, some just come and they're finished, and you can those ones that you say, oh, they were done in like ten minutes. Which of those are on the album, the new album? Um, well, you know, I got the song, the song on the album, Better Man. I got that. That all came really quickly, really fluently. Um, I'd say it's probably the only one on this record. <laughs> the <laughs> this one took about, took about eight months. <laughs> well, okay, right, more questions. Um, this email is from Evan. You're an artist who's changed their style quite significantly from one album to another musical style. Is there any mm. genre that you'd like to explore in your next album? Where next? Um, a genre? Uh, I've never really set out to, 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 to um, you know, capture a, a genre on the album I suppose there's been some tracks there's been a track like on the last album there was a track Pencil for the Lead I, I kind of knew that I wanted a kind of swing Dixieland feel there's certain tracks but you know as far as the album I think I think um, I don't know for me the genres they all kind of muddled together anyway you know it was like when I first heard Toots and the Maytals I thought it was I thought it could have been Ray Charles singing over, you know, with a with a Jamaican band. You know, I didn't I didn't know it was reggae music or whatever. And it's the same with Louis Prima, then early Jimmy Cliff. You know, they're a, they're a, they're a backbeat off of each other. So, so you can just take from each different I think they all songs, genres, they all moods. Merge in, you know, it's different. You speak to some people and they hear different things. They can hear a, you know, they can hear a, a reggae influences, for instance. Sometimes when I, when I really didn't. When I can't even really hear them, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Some people's the ears work the way they want to, you know. And maybe subconsciously you put them in there, and maybe you don't even realise, and so it's for other people to the decipher day, from the songs. The end of the day, you put all the music in, and it's like you stick it in a blender. It can can only come out one spout, you know. It can only come out one way. So, I think unless unless you uh, unless you're manipulating it too much to go in one particular way, I think it comes out as a bit of a mix, a bit of a mixed bag of of what you put in your head, really, you know? Lyrically, the exact same thing, you know? All the stories, all the conversations you have, they, it comes out, it can, be, it can be about three or four things, but come out as one, as one track, you know, as one message. 
Okay, I've got so many questions, so we'll crack okay. on to the next one. Luke, by email. Um, your motivations for writing Iron Sky, what were the motivations? And what drew you to using the Charlie Chaplin speech in that song? Mm. I think for me, uh, well, I don't know how to answer this quickly. Uh, okay. I think for me it was, it was about, like, it's, uh, originally it started as being a little bit of where, you know, where, where does it go? You know, I think that, you know, the, the, uh, the, 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 a lot of younger people, people now, and you know, and a lot of the, the way that the, the world seems to be going. You know, what kind of opportunities are there? What kind of how do you fix the things that we've been trying to, you know, fix for years and years? You know, things that you know obviously aren't working. You know, how is there going to be a change? Will they get better? Will they get worse? You know, the whole man versus machine sort of anomaly as well. You know artificial intelligence, the future, you know, like mm. the, the, the kind of checkout in the supermarket that is now a machine. You know, there used to be a, a person that took your shopping off you, you know, that, on basic terms, you know, that. And it, was, it, was about, it was about various things, you know. Mm. Uh, and they all, that's what I was saying, you know, that you have all these things that go through your head and then you, you bring them out, you draw them out and, and it, um, I think I, I like it being slightly ominous. I like the fact that people can really take what they want from it and mm. sort of put their, if it, if it, you know, sometimes it might it might describe that thing that really pisses them off, and I'm I'm, I'm happy to for that to be the thing. That's that's I think that's what it's supposed to be, rather than a song about X, Y, or Z. You know, it's quite unsettling, which is probably what you mean. Well, yeah, I mean, I I think that it can be, and then I think that. I, I don't know. I, 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 once we finished the track, although although it was quite unsettling, I, I got some comfort out of the fact that I'd I'd managed to finish it. I'd managed to put it there. And Charlie Chaplin, he came. It came around purely because uh, I just thought I needed. To, I, I wanted something that to kind of uh, reinforce what I was trying to say. I wanted something that 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 could that could try and capture people's attention and and give me. More of a chance to be heard, and and uh, and really, I remember hearing that speech, and that was something that really grabbed me. And we had to edit it quite heavily. It was a long speech; it's longer than a song, you know. It's, uh, but I think that I think that when that comes on, it's amazing. You know, you see the thirteen, fourteen-year-old, you know, boys and girls at the shows that are all that are all that know every word to the speech. You know, whether or not they know the words to the song is a different story, but they know the speech. Yeah. And so I think that's it's been very satisfying. I think that's pretty cool. Now, well, you know, I mean, I think it's more of a testament as well to 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 to, to the power of his words, you know, and what kind of man he was. He was an amazing man, you know. Mm. Used to do, he used to, he had such a capacity for his creativity. I was, I'm a big admirer of his work. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Um, another question, Jane, by email. Have you started on album number four? If so, what can we expect? So, mm. yeah, go on. You're going to start it as soon as you've got a, 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 a leftover song that you that you like. <laughs> and then it's there. It's, it's kind of in the mix. It's in the running, you know. Uh, so how so many songs then for album four in I've the got, mix? Well, we've got more than we... I think we've got more than we need, but we're still waiting for the... I think there's still maybe a, something to come that could fight for the rest of them, you know, that can... I think it's always good to have a couple of tracks that maybe fight and... Manage to get people's attention through the through the through the the crowd of songs that are coming out. What kind of a mood is it? This album? Uh, it's it's um, it's coming. It's 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 it's, it's even, I think it's got more of an. You know, there's a lot of space in the album. A lot of, a lot of space. A lot of it's a lot of subtleties. There's nothing. And I don't. I, right now, I don't know. It's, it doesn't sound like there's a lot of catchy. Uh, Radio <laughs> hits on there. I don't know, but maybe maybe that's what you need. Maybe that's what we're we're kind of you know something that always helps if some people can sing along to something, you know. And that's what I mean by things that capture people's attention. Mm -hmm. So I think I've got, I think I've got, um, I've got a couple. I've got a couple of ideas. I've got a song actually called Radio. Radio. Yeah, that 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 are, that should have been a, people told me on this album. So, but I didn't feel like it was the right one. So, that's 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 kind of I'm working around that for this new one. And is there studio time booked in? Are you going in? Do you know when you're going in? When you might record it? And when we might I see it? I don't know where I want to really to go to to finish it off. Anything that I've been doing now has just been demos from the last time, and then some basic demos that I've been doing, you know, as I write them. Mm. 
Okay. So, um, you know, I think we've got to find the right setting, right? Once the atmosphere comes, we'll know kind of what setting we want to have and yeah. go there. And I'm going to try and be a little bit more efficient this time. Efficient? Yeah. Power low and efficiency. <laughs> there you go. That's the new, that's the new, the new me. New Year resolution. Um, this is from Shireen, I think, on Twitter. Would you ever consider doing a song in Italian? I, I, you know, I do. I, I perform live. I do some Italian songs. I do two two songs in particular. One is a song called Guarda Che Luna. It's about. Um, it's by a man called Fred Buscaglione. And the other one is uh, a song called Caruso, which is by uh, Lucio Dalla. Uh, both of them are sadly passed, so they're more like a tribute to to, to some of my favorite Italian singers. But I've never wrote anything Italian. To be honest, I've not. I don't speak it as well as I should, so that's also one something that's on my list, really, to 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 kind of firm up my Italian and and. Uh, You've got loads of time. It time is like definitely a, on your side. Yeah, and I've got it's 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 becoming a priority, you know. Ah. I need to I need to be able to speak that that language. It's a well, beautiful I'm, language. I was going to say, I'm sure your family are quite keen as well. Yeah, my well, my daddy speaks it fluently. My mom's, you know, almost fluent. Maybe they can, if, yeah, if I've seen them more often, maybe they would give me some. Just tips. need to find yeah. time. Um, this is from Gigi on Twitter. I heard that you collaborated with Benny King. Is that likely to be released one day? Um, I can't, I, can't, I don't really know. I don't know. It was, it was a bit of a, it was a bit of fun. I don't think we nailed it by any means. So I don't know, maybe we could pick up on it again. Okay. Anyone know? else that you've collaborated with or you'd like to collaborate with? Um... Well, you know, we collaborated with quite a lot of um, musicians. There wasn't a lot of singers we we we, we worked with on the last record, but I, I don't know. I, I hope I hope um, I've got some ideas. I don't know exactly, but I don't want to say too much too soon. But there's okay. some ideas I think could work really well, and I think I've just got to try and phone some people up and see if they want to see if they're interested. Oh God! Now I want to know who you're going to phone uh, up, and you're not going to tell me. It's a secret. <laughs> this is the game. Um, this is from Adrian on an email. On stage, you seem to channel various music legends. I recognise a touch of Jagger, James Brown, even Ian Curtis. Is that a conscious thing, or am I talking nonsense? That's a that's a pl- pretty, it's a pretty diverse mix in there for covering all those bases. Is it uh, just you doing what comes naturally? I think I think well, you know, I think it's. I've always got love to sing because I I, I I kind of lose lose touch a little bit with with all the kind of what's going on around me you know I I I, I, I like that it's it becomes a little bit of a, a fantasy and and uh, I don't know again when that happens I just kind of get I get carried away so so you I'm don't sh- particularly know how you're moving or what's going on it's just you're I'm doing not, whatever I'm, comes I'm, I don't I don't do a lot of it in front of the mirror you know I don't it's not like a I really rehearse it. I just, I just hope, you know, that when it comes out, people get it because, because, I, I, I really don't know whether they should or they shouldn't. Or, or you know. did you, did you used to practice in front of the mirror when you were a kid? Uh, did you do that thing? Oh, I, did I used to practice in front of the mirror? I had a karaoke machine when I was a kid. I used to like sing a lot of like, a lot of old crooner stuff, a lot of old Sinatra and things, etc. And uh, a lot of Bobby Darn. And I used, to, I think I used to have a mirror when I did that. Of course. Right, I must get through these questions. Shirley on Twitter, what's the biggest diva demand on your rider? Um, what's the biggest... What's your rider? Usually just a nice... Some nice wines, a good rum and a good whiskey. I think, you know, sometimes you can get a bit more wild with your riders. Start asking for you know, rooms to be a certain colour, trampolines, pogo sticks, all those things, you know. Things that will just get you through the day. Is it just to amuse yourself half the time? It's just because well, yeah, must be you quite know, boring. you can ask for you can ask for whatever you want. You just gotta you just gotta pay for it. <laughs> you ever asked, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, if you ever ask for anything ludicrous, though, yeah. pogo sticks a good one. Oh yeah, we, yeah, we did. We got pogo sticks once. We had, um, you know, what else did we have once? Um, <clears throat> furry walls. Furry walls. Furry walls. <laughs> did they happen? They happened. Yeah. People do that. <clears throat> we could just. You know, Someone went to very, a market somewhere and got fur and stuff. Very it soothing. <laughs> Another question, Esther on Twitter. Do you have any pre-concert rituals or superstitions before you go on stage? Um, um, I, the one superstition I do have, I can't walk by a penny. Or, you know, if I see a penny on the floor, it could be on Oxford Street at rush hour. 
and I'll find my way back through that crowd to get that penny. To pick it up. Mm-hmm. Nothing to do with financial gain or anything like that. It's just... Well, they, they all count. <laughs> do you have but, a piggy bank? <laughs> I, I do, actually. I do. Is it a bottle? No, it's a, but it's a, an old whiskey bottle. It's, it's what, what I've got a few kicking about. One of them's a wee squirrel. Like a little squirrel with a, with a cape. Okay. I'm going to drop a penny just before you play on stage tonight. Let's I'm going to drop it and everyone can watch I, you pick it up. Let's do it. <laughs> Helena on Twitter. Or Helena, what was the last lie that you told? The last lie that I told... Uh, Anything to do with furry walls or squirrel money bags? Probably that I, didn't, that I don't dance around in front of the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> no, the last lie that I told... I'm not, I'm not much of a liar. Uh, usually, usually I get myself in trouble more for being a bit too... Honest. <laughs> Too honest. Sophie, by email, I once read an interview that you were working on a graphic novel. Is that still happening? Uh, yeah, well, slowly but surely. I think it's, it's taken even longer than the music. I'm, I'm, I've got two people that I'd really like to collaborate with. They're two Brazilian brothers, um, Moon and Ba, and, and they, they're, they're some of my, they, they've wrote some of my favourite graphic novels. I think we got in touch with them to just sort of open up a box about a year ago and and they seemed like fairly they hadn't really heard my stuff they seemed like they were into it and were talking about through the music let's can we adapt it and can they you know can we bring it to life on on paper and uh, and then I found out as well I'm I'm excited because one of my favourite ones Preacher uh, I found out that Seth Rogen is is, is adapting it into like a a a series so not that that's really getting to do with the question but it is exciting but, so have you made contact to, about you doing music for it? Is that the idea? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just, just, I'm just buzzing that it finally came around. That's, that's, it'll be. I hope they do it well because it's, it's. Is it quite dark? It's, it's very dark. It's about, yeah, it's about um, a preacher that gets taken over by this uh, entity from heaven that comes in and takes him over, and he basically goes on a journey with uh, with a couple more people to find God. And it's um, and all the things that happen along the way. It's worth a read. Okay, all right. I get you know I'm I'm a, I'm a fan of my comics. Yeah, and me yeah. too. Um, and finally, an email from Shona in Ayrshire. What's your favourite thing about coming home to Scotland? My favourite thing about coming home to Scotland is uh, oh geez, I don't know. There's a lot, lots of things. It's because it's home. You know, I've got my friends there. I've got my family. I always come back. I have a roll and square sausage and a can of iron brew, and then I'm I'm home. Can of you know, iron brew, and that's me. Final question. Sorry to add another one. Sean from Glasgow on that theme. Um, your parents have you, their chip shop. Tomato or brown sauce with the chips? Tomato. Oh, see, I don't. I don't usually have either. No, I don't think you do ketchup on chips. I go a lot of vinegar. Yeah. It's like kind of swimming in vinegar, and then that's about it. I don't even put salt on it. It's just vinegar. All about the vinegar. It's all about the vinegar. <laughs> Paula, thank you very much indeed. Um, enjoy the show tonight. Hope it goes really well for you. Okay. Doing Radio Two in concert. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you, John.